you? Oh, I see. Your name, please? Uh, no, my name's not please. It's Fred Kelton. <laughs> Where were you born? In a cab. <laughs> On the weekend of July 14, 1995, family entertainer, motion picture and television star, and premier clown artist Red Skelton was the honored guest of Addy Galleries for a weekend birthday celebration at John Esquega's Nugget Hotel Casino in Sparks, Nevada. Richard Bernard Skelton was born in Vincennes, Indiana on July 18, 1913. His father, who died when Skelton was only two months old, had been a clown with the Hagenbach Wallace Circus. At the age of seven, Skelton became a newspaper boy to help support his mother and three brothers. Um, I was selling newspapers on the corner of Fifth and Main in Vincennes, Indiana. And a gentleman walked up to me and he says, um, what do they do in this town for excitement? I said, there's a big New York road show in town tonight, just one night. It's got Ed Wynn in it. He said, oh, you going to go see the show? I said, no, I don't have that kind of money. But uh, that's what I'm going to do someday. I'm going to try to make people laugh. He says, well, I know the manager of the theater. Uh, if you come down, I'll see that you get in and see the show. I said, well, I don't know. I got to sell my newspapers, and I had about five left, and they were three cents a piece in those days. And those days, you tear the headline off of the paper, and you turn it back in, yet you're a cent and a half that you spent for the newspaper to sell. So uh, he gave me a dollar. He gave me a dollar for five newspapers. I go, oh boy. I went home and gave the dollar to my mother and I told her what had happened. She says, okay, here's a dime. Nickel for car fare after the show's over and a nickel for popcorn if you want it. That's going way back, isn't it? <laughs> nickel for popcorn. You, you, they wouldn't let you smell the butter for that now. <laughs> he began his show business career at the age of 10 with Dr. Reynold Lewis's traveling medicine show. For the next 73 years, that career would include a stint as a circus clown, a burlesque comic, a vaudeville performer, radio comic, motion picture star, television comedian, writer, artist, photographer, and musical composer. When I played um, Proctor's 125th Street, George M. Cohan came to see the show. He says, uh, I'm hearing a lot about you, kid. I want to see you work. So after the show was over, I walked out to the stage. He's standing at the stage door in the summertime. And I said, what do you think? He says, lose the guy in the act. I says, it's his act. He says, then get out of it. I said, well, I got to eat. He says, you want to eat now and starve later? For more than 18 years, Addy Galleries, which is headquartered in Reno, Nevada, has been exhibiting and selling Red's art. It began uh, one day when Red uh, walked into my gallery and uh, saw, uh, saw the gallery in the uh, MGM and uh, we actually, that was the first time I met him and we got to talking and he told me he was an artist and I told him how much I'd love to handle his work and, and, and it did uh, eventually happen and we started carrying his work right there. At the press conference held in the Rose Ballroom foyer at the Nugget Hotel, Red was given the Masonic Fraternity's highest award from a delegation that had traveled all the way from Lexington, Massachusetts. Brother Skelton received the 33rd degree in 1969, an honor reserved for only a few thousand members and brothers of our three million member organization. Today, we again honor and recognize Brother Skelton by presenting him the Gorgas Medal, the highest decoration offered by the Supreme Council of Scottish Rite Masons. Since the first presentation of this medal to Brother Harry S. Truman in 1945, only 28 other awards have been granted. And then, only in recognition of notably distinguished service in the cause of Freemasonry humanity, or country, and Red fits all three. Red's wife, Lothian, daughter of famed cinematographer Greg Tolan, was on hand to make a presentation to the Masonic delegation. Now our contribution uh, to the foundation is in two checks 
for the amount of $25,000. And I would like you to see that this gets to them personally um, in Indiana. And I, thank you very I much. It's with great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Culver City, California Historical Society was also on hand to wish Red a happy birthday and to deliver a personal invitation from Lou Catlett, the new owner of the Culver Hotel, to visit as an honored guest the newly refurbished facility just across the street from famed Culver Studios, now a part of Sony Pictures Entertainment. During the 1950s, Skelton was co-owner of the Culver Hotel along with movie legend John Wayne. For more than 16 years, Red was under contract to MGM, located in the heart of Culver City. Skelton had this to say about L.B. Mayer, his old boss. My contract read that uh, I would have a television and radio clause. And so every time they'd come up, I'd, they'd say, what do you mean a, a television clause? I says, television's coming. So they, the, they waited like three months, and finally they put the clause in. Every time they picked up an option, I'd look to see if the television clause was in. So they weren't too fond of, of television. So I went in one day and I said to Mr. Mayor, I'm going on the Milton Berle program. He says, none of our stars goes on television. I says, you better get out a hot iron and watch those invisible letters come up on that contract. So uh, I was the first one to get that. Then later, he, um, one day I saw him on the lot and he says, saw your uh, television show. He says, but you're blowing the whole thing. Number one, in those trailers that you do advertising the show coming next week, don't be in them. Let the guest stars say, this week I'm working with Red Skelton. He says, then it has power behind it. I said, oh. He says, another thing, I never know when the commercial's over. Why don't you say act one, act two, act three? So I did. That was Mr. Mayor's thing. Red Skelton started painting when he was 10 years old. And even though he has painted various subjects, his best loved paintings are the unique images of clowns that he has loved and imitated for more than 70 years. Happy birthday, Red. A little cat died and went to heaven. And they said, now if there's anything you want, you let us know because we want you to be happy. He says, well, all my life I've wanted a big white satin pillow to sleep on. This is no problem. They go back to their office and in comes a delegation of mice. He says, you have a problem? They said, yeah. That commissary is so far away from where we're stationed, the time we get back, we're hungry again. Do you think maybe you could get us some kind of transportation? Maybe little roller skates? They says, no problem. A few days later, they go in and see the cat again. So how's everything? He said, oh boy. Now I know what they mean by heaven. <laughs> that pillow is just wonderful and that meal on wheels is great. 